Hello fellow Unreal Engine artists, designers and developers. In this quick video I'm going to show you how to save on your energy consumption while developing in Unreal Engine and therefore save money on your bills. So I've opened up this landscape project in Unreal Engine 5.2 and let's start off with tip number one. So if I look at my energy consumption currently I've got an RTX 3080 in my system and you can see that the current power consumption is around about the 320 watt mark. So uh, first tip is when you're not um, using the viewport, when you're doing sort of blueprint development and other things, make sure that the viewport is completely hidden. So you can see now that my GPU power is coming down from 320 watts to 60 watts or so. So this is uh, one thing you can do, but it's not always practical because a lot of the time when you're creating materials, blueprints, um, graphs like this, you want to see the changes reflected in the viewport. So let's move on to tip number two. So you can see currently my frame rate is running at around 90 frames per second because I haven't put any restrictions on it. So again, I'm back up to 320 watts. But if I go back into the, or if I go into the project settings, so edit project settings, and I search for frame rate, you can see here there's an option for using a fixed frame rate. So if I click on that and set it to something like 30 frames per second and close that down, you can see the frame rates changed here, 30 frames per second, and my uh, power consumption has come down by about two thirds to 120, 130 watts. Um, so it's still very responsive. So again, no change in the visual fidelity. I can move around very smoothly and develop um, just as well as I would normally, but I'm saving two thirds of my energy. And I can obviously put the fixed frame rate off when I want to do the final testing or final shipping. Um, now, if you want to make that change apply to any new project, you need to put that in the base engine config. And to do that, you need to find your Unreal Engine in program files here, drill down to the engine folder, config folder, and you need to find the base engine ini file. Open that up and search for engine.engine. .engine you'll find this section here called saying script engine.engine .engine, and you need to add these two lines b use fixed frame rate equals true and fixed frame rate equals whatever the frame rate you want in i've got 30 here if you put that in this base engine file that will apply to any new projects you create so now let's move on to tip number three so we've got it down to 130 watts are there any other ways we can save energy? Well, yes, because what's happening currently is that the GPU is calculating um, every change between frames. And while we might not be able to see it here, things like volumetric clouds, which are moving, wind animations, any particle effects in your scene are causing the frame to have to be recalculated. Um, so if we switch off real time options, which you do by pressing Control R on the keyboard, you can see at the top, it now says real time off. Uh, visually, things haven't really changed very much. But if you look at the GPU power, it's now come down by another two thirds to around about 20 watts. So we've effectively reduced our power consumption from 320 watts to 20 watts. Now, if you move around the viewport, it will go up slightly. But as soon as you let go and settle on the scene, it will then reduce again quite quickly back down to the 20 watt level. And so as you're making changes, um, you'll be able to see them in the viewport, but they won't um, they won't affect the uh, energy consumption. So in terms of savings here in the UK, that's around about 300 watt saving. So if I'm developing for seven hours a day, that's going to be around about a £15 saving a month or £180 a year. So this is well worth doing without sacrificing your visual uh, feedback. I um, hope you found today's video useful. Stick around for the next one and I'll see you then. Bye for now.